Arsenal Fan TV, the game is over, 2-0 to the Arsenal and quite a comfortable victory for the Arsenal. Really and truly should probably have scored more goals, but it was just so good and refreshing to see so many youngsters out there today that have come through that Arsenal system, playing so, so well. You know, literally it's a blueprint for what you see with the first team. And I was really, really happy with the performance. So let's get into the player ratings. Kicking off with Emilio Martinez in goal, I thought. Pulled off a couple of good saves in the game when he was called upon. Didn't really have a lot to do throughout the game, to be honest. But when he was called upon, pulled off a couple of great saves. I'm going to give Martinez 7 out of 10. Definitely does not look out of place. I think if it came down to it and he had to start in a Premier League game, I wouldn't be worried. He looks that good. At right back, I thought Carl Jenkinson, who came in today, was absolutely outstanding. There's one of the fans who said if you watch him at the end of the game, he was out on his feet. He was up and down the line. He looked strong. He looked quick. He should really have scored in the game, but I'm not going to blame him for that because he's been out for so long. And for, for, it was just unbelievable, his performance for a player that has been out so long. I thought he was brilliant tonight. Eight out of ten for Carl Jenkinson. Uh, Rob Holding... Um, at centre-back, he looked accomplished, he looked assured, played really, really well, 7 out of 10 for him. Next to him, Gabriel again, he was quite assured. A couple of times he slipped over, I don't know what sort of footwear he was wearing, but he was a calming influence, 7 out of 10 for Gabriel. Um, Left-back, Kieran Gibbs, captain for the night, again, did everything right. You could see his experience in amongst all the young players he, he played really really well seven out of ten for gibbs they had a very quick guy who was up and down that wing but gibbs coped with him just in front of them um Nateland miles i thought looked very very good strong quick skillful i really like the look of this kid definitely one for the future i remember he's out on loan i think it was at ipswich last year and they were singing his praises you can see why for me, I'm looking at a kid, to me, that looks like it's only a matter of time before he can break into the first team. Nate Lamars, for me tonight, gets 7 out of 10. Next to him, Mohamed El Nenny, just tied everything together. You could see, again, as I said, an experienced head. It just calmed everything down, made some good tackles. When we were pressing, won the ball very well. 7 out of 10, Mohamed El Nenny. Uh, Jeff Rene, uh, just in front of them. He was okay today, sometimes overplayed a little bit too much. There was one time when, you know, he could have just got rid of the ball. He overplayed, overplayed and gave away a corner. A couple other times he did some little things like that. But I don't want to suppress such a skillful player. But 6 out of 10 tonight for Jeff Rene. On the other wing was Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, undoubtedly the man of the match today. You know, and he could have had a hat-trick at least. You know, he, 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 he was superb tonight. They, the Reading players just couldn't cope with it. He looked like they hadn't seen a player like him. I mean, his turn of pace is just brilliant. He's dynamic. He's explosive. This guy can be anything he wants to be, as far as I'm concerned. He can be as good as Riyad Mahrez. He can be as good as those players. It's just sometimes about his decision-making, overhits passes sometimes and that. But scored twice tonight, was definitely the man in the match was unplayable at times, 9 out of 10 for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Uh, Lucas Perez up front um, was too unsell. You're a striker, be a bit more greedy. He could have scored tonight. Um, he was a handful at times. He's quick, he's, he's pacey, but I think we're still yet to see the best of him. He came off at the end with an injury. I'm hoping it's not too bad. 6 out of 10 for Lucas Perez. Alex Iwobi tonight, I thought, you know, he played OK. Um, had a great shot that was saved by El Habsi. Um, but I hope we're not overplaying him. I mean, I was really surprised to see him start tonight. Um, average game by his standards, I'm going to give Alex Iwobi a 6 out of 10. So we get in now to the substitutions who came on. Olivia Giroud didn't really get into the game much when he came on, didn't get many touches off the ball. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. It's just good to see him back in the squad. Uh, Chris Willock came on, looked pretty handy, pretty skillful, you know, moved the ball well, tackled well as well. Um, 6 out of 10 for Willock. And Zalalem, uh, he came on as well. Again, didn't really get a lot of time to get into the game. So 5 out of 10 for Zalalem. Uh, manager tonight, Arsene Wenger, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 because I just love his philosophy of blooding young players and giving them a chance. That's one thing I love about him. He's done it throughout the years and he's still doing it. 8 out of 10 for him. 
fans tonight, I'm going to give the fans a seven. Um, there was some fans saying earlier that the fans were a bit quiet, but there was a lot of different sort of fans in there today. A lot of youngsters in there because it's half term, tickets were cheap. And for me, I just love that. I love the fact that there's so many kids that get to come and see Arsenal for the first time. So well done to the fans today. Uh, seven out of ten for the fans. I think that proves as well that Debucci's done at the club, mm. doesn't it? So um, my only criticism tonight, 